Career Soldier, US JTF 6 here. Welcome to the Commander's Corner, the United States Joint Task Force. My name is Brad Crawford. Good to see you guys again. Today I have a very interesting development in news that I'd like to share with the airsoft community. And this has a pretty long history to it. Uh, I tried uh, over the past few days to contact uh, Mr. Liu, uh, John Liu, uh, the owner of Best USA Marketing. And he's also the uh, producer of the Lion Calls event series. Uh, over the past few years we've had our disagreements in the past and I thought I would take the time uh, to work with Mr. Liu and give him a call and kind of patch things over. And today, uh, through a gracious phone call with Mr. Liu, uh, we had an interesting phone call or conversation for about 45 minutes and I'm happy to report that uh, myself and Mr. Liu are now in open communication again. And uh, a lot of good words were said between each other. Uh, we really had a fun time talking to each other. Uh, I, I really did apologize for some of the things that happened in the past, and so did John. Um, we, we both uh, understand what kind of went down, and uh, we, we both really appreciated each other with the phone call. And, that's what I'd like to say tonight. I'd like to say, hey, thank you very much, Mr. Liu, for uh, giving me a call and working out the issues between us. And uh, it's going to be a very bright future ahead of us uh, working together. Uh, tonight, I'd also like to talk about some of the things. And, John, you're, you're one of the guys uh, that gave me the idea for this. And I think you were absolutely right today when we were talking on the phone about having a positive face to the sport. And me, me and, me and uh, John talked about this in great detail, uh, about how we are kind of, uh, not, not we in the sense of everyone, uh, there's, there's a few people, uh, all the fighting that goes on in the forum boards, and all, all the bickering and the arguing, and, and what it does and what it does not do. And I, I honestly agreed with John when he, when he told me that we have much bigger battles to fight uh, in the airsoft arena. Uh, and a lot of things guys don't understand is there's a lot of legislators out there that are trying to uh, ban or take away airsoft. And when we have these negativity, he's running around the community, when we have these people spreading negative thoughts, feelings, rumors, it really adds to the situation that's going on around in the country right now. You know, we, we should be Focusing our efforts more towards that and worrying about preserving the integrity of the sport and not only the integrity But preserving the sport in its own and I think that's one of the things that we really need to think about tonight With the USATF over the past six months We've adopted a no tolerance policy with our members for uh, going on for boards and flaming uh, our own members flaming each other um, And that's one thing that's prevalent on the USATF website that you will see Unfortunately, there are some people in the country who do these kind of things. Who come on boards just to start trouble. Who post things up. To shake up communities in the process. Yet we, we, yet we do allow it to happen sometimes. And some of the administrators and moderators of certain boards allow it to happen. And it really hurts us in, in, in a sport where we're supposed to be working together. We all do things together. We all play the same sport. We all play the same game. Why don't we work all work together instead of fighting with each other, bickering with each other? And I'm not saying everybody does. That's, that's not even close to being the case. And it's more along the lines of a few people, like I said. But I, I really think that in the airsoft community that we really need to start taking a stance of zero tolerance for this type of behavior. If you don't agree with somebody, or you don't agree with the way people conduct themselves, it's really not on you to go on a forum board and, and, and just flame them intentionally. It's not on you to go on a forum board and cause trouble or start trouble. And it surely isn't on you to, to ruin the entire experience of all the other members of that board because you would like to feel important. I, 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 I guess I'm just going to put out a calling. I don't know how this is going to be taken. To, to the admins of the communities. Let's start working together, regardless of affiliation or group that we are assigned to or team that we're on. Let's start bridging the gaps between each other. 
let's start working with each other and, and, and repairing these destroyed links in the community of relationships because it's really not helping anyone. Let's end the drama and let's end things so that it does not happen in the future. Because that is, that is what is going to set us apart. And when we really think about this problem, let, let's look at how we're conducting ourselves. And I'll, I'll ask the people who cause trouble. I'll ask the guys who go on board, boards and flame things and cause trouble. I'll, I'll ask you this, what do you get out of this? What, what, what is there to gain? It's, it's very simple. If you don't like the way someone's doing something, you don't like the way somebody plays a game, you don't like the way an organization runs, that's your opinion and you're entitled to it. But what you're not entitled to is going on a board, posting up information that sometimes is way out in the left field and not even true, and, and I'm not, we're not talking about us here. We're talking about teams and groups all around the country. And if we just took a zero tolerance policy to these kinds of people, and just let them know that they're not tolerated in our communities, that their actions will not be accepted. And admins had harsh, harsh restrictions on these type of people and bans that were put in effect where posts were deleted automatically to uh, prevent these types of flame wars from going on in the first place. I think we'd all be a much better place. And, and like I said, John, I, I appreciate your call about that and I, I hope that this video uh, will help out the community, kind of like how we talked about with our phone call today. And I, I honestly think that if we can bring things together, regardless of community, regardless of state, then we'll be much better. And if some people don't like it, if some people want to continue doing what they're doing, there's not much we really can do. but they will harm the sport in the end. So today, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for watching the video. And I hope and pray that we might be able to change not only the perceptions of the sport, but the way we conduct ourselves in the sport with professionalism, honor, dignity, and integrity. So until next time, this is USATF6. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.